Hi guys, um, Sarah here. Uh, I'm really looking forward to resuming our Develop Your Painting sessions um, every week, usual time, 9.45 on Tuesday mornings for two and a half hours. Um, as far as possible, we're going to continue to run the course in the way that we have done. So I'll be inviting you to bring to the session um, whatever you consider to be your jumping off point. Um, so that's whatever the painting was that you made before um, and where you're starting from. Um, the only real difference is going to be the fact that now I shall be coming to you from my studio rather than working with you in the creative hub at the brew house. Um, and I guess that I'll be talking to you probably in your kitchens or wherever else you're going to be doing this. So during the sessions, um, we'll do a mixture of discussing and giving feedback on the work that you've done. So as I say, you need to be bringing your previous paintings with you, same kind of group critique as we've always done in the past, um, but we'll do it virtually instead. I'll be introducing you to the work of other artists, helping you to unlock and understand and learn some of the processes and methods that they use in their work. I'm really excited because the next artist that we're going to be looking at is Joan Erdley. Um, we talked about the fact we'd be looking at her. She's a fabulous Scottish artist. We've just recently been looking at gesture and mark and expression through looking particularly at the work of the American abstract expressionist women artists. Um, and the last artist that we looked at together at the brew house was of course Helen Frankenthaler. Um, and the last session that we had, we were enjoying doing some of her soak stain technique, thinning down the paint, allowing it to pour and stain as well. So I shall look forward to what you have been doing. Um, hopefully be able to give you a bit of feedback and technical advice, um, problem solved for you as well. But as I say, we will be moving through the course just as we had intended. So the next artist will be Joan Erdley. I will still be in touch with you by email, sending you resources, YouTube links, um, any other information that I think is going to be helpful with you in advance. I'll still be sending you kit lists um, so that you know what materials you're going to need. Obviously, I'm going to be adapting that in the light of it being a little bit more difficult probably to get to art shops. So most of the time we'll be using the standard kit. So what I've got here in front of me, you'll be really familiar with are, you know how I like to bring to the brew house, my little trusty yogurt pot full of different acrylic paints. Um, same trusted colours as we always use, titanium white, lemon yellow, cadmium red, Prussian blue, and of course burnt umber. Um, looking at the work of Jonah Erdley, I'm also going to be adding to that mix some organic material because she mixed that in. I've also got a bit of builder's sand. Um, what I've also got here are some bits of paperwork that I'm going to use as collage materials because she also worked with a bit of a base of some kind of collage and found materials as well underneath the paintwork and layered the two things up together. Um, we will continue as we always do to consider harmonies and contrasts and balances and unbalances. I'd like you to keep half an eye on your colour wheel as well. We've done a lot of referencing to colour, thinking about complementary pairs and opposites across the colour wheel. We often look and notice how any artist, regardless of their genre or even their time, pretty much adhere to the same theories of working with colour um, and the way that they work with the balances to create precession and depth and to work with them really expressively as well. So we'll be doing all of those things that we normally do. We will be critiquing, we'll be looking at the visual elements of line, shape, tone, colour, texture, composition. Um, but we're going to work our way on our journey through the artists as we always have done. And as I say, we've got Joan Erdley coming up next. You knew she was coming. I've got a feeling one or two of you probably won't have been able to wait. And I'm hoping that you'll also come to our sessions with your own researched information as well, which would just be lovely. Um, can't wait to work with you again. Hope that you managed to access the sessions okay. Um, and I'm looking forward to being with you again. Thank you.